So this is Algebra 1, Semester 1. It's a unit called Functions, number 5. It's the third unit called Geometric Sequences Practice. It's on creatormath.com under the Algebra 1 tab. You might have to Google creatormath.weebly.com to find the site from Google. The instructions are copy the following problems into your composition book on the correct pages according to the table of contents with the notes for those pages from creatormath.com. Just to try to illustrate, sometimes it can be difficult for students to find the notes. Here we go. So here's the actual name of the website, creatormath.weebly.com. If you type that into Google, hopefully you can find the home page that looks like this. If you're having any trouble with your composition book, which a lot of students are still asking questions, how do I fill that sucker out? Just scroll down, please. Find the words composition book, read all the directions, watch all the videos, adhere to the due dates, and put everything on the pages where it belongs, uh, including the notes, which we'll go to right now. Under the tab of the class, you'll find at least five things. Um, one are the notes, two are the problem sets, three are the video solutions like we're making now, four are the vo is the complete list of vocabulary that we'll be using through the entire school year it is downloadable to your device and it is searchable just google how do i search a pdf on whatever type of device you're using and follow those directions uh, it is important we're going to go to the semester that we're in next or the one for this video in this case uh, the table of contents needs to be copied into your composition book on pages 2 through 6. Why? Because it has all the page numbers of everything that goes in the comp book. So you can put the right items on the right pages. All right? we're going to now go from semester, make sure we got that. Now we're going to go down to the unit. And in this case, this one is functions. Then we see the lessons right here. There's seven lessons in this unit. And we're looking at number three right now. So this is the third one, geometric sequences. Um, here are the page numbers on which the notes go. Please don't take this video's word for it, but go back and find the original table of contents at the time you're viewing this. Uh, those page, these page numbers probably will have changed. Here are the notes. Here's the problem sets. This is the link where the video will be once it's done. We're going to click notes to see what we're putting in our comp book on the right pages. So um, sometimes I have to click that twice to get it to load. Sometimes you'll see a picture of the board. Sometimes you'll see a picture of my notes. It kind of depends. But this explains to us a little bit about what we're talking about in this lesson. Here's an example of a function x squared versus a function of 2x. So the 2x function here is a line. The x squared function here is a um, parabola, right? So... Um, a geometric sequence which uh, moves up uh, more quickly. Um, and I might have actually picked a different one for the geometric sequence, but um, and I don't know if I would have picked a parabola, but this one is raised to a power and therefore it goes up more quickly as we start to move through the um, domain and range. Uh, the spread of a virus is an example of a geometric or exponential function. One sick person infects two. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Got distracted. So then um, arithmetic sequence um, we've covered in the prior lesson. Arithmetic function is one where it grows by a set number, as in a line or linear relationship. A geometric function is one that grows in an exponential or um, raised to a power relationship. All right. So with those notes in your comp book, let's look at the problem sets here. Um, which type of sequence does the following graph represent? This is a line, so it's an arithmetic sequence, all right? And what we're going for here is the idea um, between arithmetic and geometric. Arithmetic is a line. The next one is an accelerating um, sequence where it expands, also known as a geometric sequence, all right? So this would be as in a an exponential curve, which increases as it moves, so it's an acceleration. Uh, which type of sequence does the following represent? 1, 5, 9, 13, 17. Well, what's the difference between 1 and 5? 4. What's the difference between 5 and 9? 
4. What's the difference between 9 and 13? 4. What's the difference? See, we notice that the change between each data point is exactly the same. This would be an arithmetic sequence. This is going to make a line when it graphs because there's nothing increasing. If we saw this going 4, 8, 16, 32, the difference between each data point, that would by nature have to increase at an accelerating rate. Okay, and the basic difference between an arithmetic sequence and a geometric sequence. So which type of sequence does the following represent? 1, 4, 7, 10, and so forth. So what's the difference between 1 and 4? 3. What's the difference between 4 and 7? 3. What's the difference between 7 and 10? 3. It's the same again. So arithmetic sequence, right? Which type of sequence does the following represent? Negative 3, negative 5, negative 7. So here, negative 2, negative 2. This seems consistent. This is an arithmetic. So which type of sequence does the spread of a virus represent? This is where one person gets too, too sick, right? And that each one of these gets two more sick, right? And each one of these gets two more sick. And by the time we carry this out, this starts to expand in an ever-increasing graph like this. It starts to accelerate. That's a geometric sequence. Which type of sequence does the following represent? Well, let's see. 2 to 3 is 1. 3 to 6 is 3. 6 to 11 is 5. 11 to 18 is 7. So notice that the number between the two is accelerating. This is a geometric sequence right? because of that acceleration. Make sure you're matching up the name of the video with the problem set you're doing. Otherwise, it's not going to make much sense. In this case, this is Algebra 1, Semester 1. Uh, fifth unit called Functions, and the third lesson called Geometric Sequences Practice. It's on creatormath.com under the Algebra 1 tab. Hope this helps.